Well, owning a home is part of the American dream. We talk about that a lot, but with that comes the cost of upkeep. A growing expense includes septic tanks. Nearly 1,600 of them are set to be removed out of an estimated 60,000 failing septic tanks in Jacksonville. The city has promised for decades now to phase out septic systems and connect residents to city service for sewers. But we're learning today that those funds for those projects could be drying up. On your side, Troy Kless joins us live tonight with what the city plans to do now with this issue. Troy? Yeah, that's right, Jeannie. Construction looks a lot like what you see behind me, where they have to literally dig up people's yards to put those sewer lines in. City leaders say it may be a temporary inconvenience, but it has long term benefits. Now, one woman who's lived in one of the neighborhoods where the phase out program is happening says that she was hesitant to join the phase out program at first, but eventually jumped on board. On a rainy day, the construction in Angela Edenfield's neighborhood isn't the prettiest sight. Tie up some because this is just nasty. It's just ridiculous with the mud and with everything else going on. The cons of the construction, which has been going on for a year, she says. You know, I do see hope at the other side of the neighborhood, you know, where they have been finishing up there. The city and JEA are prioritizing some of the city's oldest neighborhoods for the septic tank phase out program, a project agreed upon in 2016. First Coast News is learning that funds for parts of the project fall short of the cost. JEA has $54 million to spend connecting three neighborhoods on the northwest side to the city sewage system, but an additional 30 million is needed. The mayor's office tells our news partners, the Florida Times Union, they are working with city council to round up more money. Additional details weren't provided to us, but an announcement is expected this week. Edenfield says her concern is how much it will cost for city sewage services. I'm already struggling, you know, with things going on financially and, you know, for this burden, you know, but the thing about it at the end of the day, the city's going to do what the city wants to do. But overall, she thinks it's for the greater good. I mean, I haven't had no issues with my septic system, my water. Um, I you know, I have no problems at all, and but it is a, a good idea for property value, I guess, to uh, allow them to do what they need to do.